At Augusta National, the tradition is in the details. From the azalea-lined fairways to a private nook tucked into the rafters of the clubhouse, the Masters Tournament is just different. For amateurs like Harrison Crow, who earned his place in the field by winning the 2022 Asia Pacific Amateur Championship, having mates around like 2013 Masters Champion Adam Scott makes this experience all the more special. Where's your uh, bunk? I was in this corner here. Yeah. I've definitely made the bed. Yeah, it's cosy, isn't it? It is. <laughs> it is. Another detail, another uniquely master's experience reserved only for the amateurs. The crow's nest. This is pretty wild, the tiger. I kind of want to take tiger one of those amateur. Yeah, I mean, it's awesome. So not many people get to say they stayed up here. We had all the other boys here as well. I think a couple of boys that share a room, so it was full. And the amateur part of the Masters tournament has been huge, obviously, from Bobby Jones. So it's nice traditions that they have going. I wasn't good enough to be here as an amateur, but Harrison's enjoying it this week. Yeah, yeah, that no, was pretty, pretty special. If any of the other pros came up in here, would you kind of look at them like you shouldn't be here? Is that the feeling up here? Or, cause it's a bit like that in the champion's room. <laughs> Is it like yeah. that? Kick us I'll out. Like, yeah, I'll be like, <laughs> be like, get out, of my room. <laughs> Crow's blossoming relationship with Scott has made his major championship debut a bit more manageable. There's a lot of banter out there today, which is awesome. And then just to kind of, just pick his brain a little bit. He gave me a lot of advice. Probably the biggest one was just to commit to everything. Harrison's played a few times now, obviously, but I think remembering it's your first Masters, there's so much to see and take in. And with the game he's got, there's not too much you need to tell him. Relationships are what make this game so special. After missing the cut at the Japan Open last year, Scott offered Crow a few words of encouragement that perhaps turned the tide as he punched his ticket to the Masters the very next week. I saw him Saturday practicing. I just felt like it would be nice to introduce myself. I think I said something like, don't be hard on yourself if you've had a bad week. It could happen to anybody here. You should go and win next week. And uh, obviously he did that. Now he's here and he's set himself up for an incredible year. You know, so much knowledge is passed on between the pros out here and information shared. And uh, obviously having a soft spot for Harrison being an Aussie kid playing. I'm trying to stay out of his way, but hopefully there's one thing maybe like I did in Japan that can help him have a better week. I got plenty of goals in my head, but I think the, probably the biggest of all would just to be going out there and having fun and just really make everyone at home proud and everyone here proud, all my family, all my friends.